During the upcoming weeks, a newly discovered comet will be making a relatively close approach to the Earth. This comet is expected to get brighter than magnitude 6 and become visible to the naked eye. The brightness of comets is unpredictable, but by then Comet 2022 could become only just visible to the eye in dark night skies far away from light pollution. Its last passage through the inner solar system was during the Upper Paleolithic or Old Stone Age. On February 1st, Comet 2022 will pass within 28 million miles of our planet, its first approach in 50,000 years. The comet is expected to get brighter than magnitude 6, and thus become visible with the naked eye from a dark sky, appearing as a smudge in the sky. During its closest approach to Earth, it will appear near the North Celestial Pole and be located within the Camelopardalis constellation. On February 10th to 11, the comet will pass 1.5 degrees from Mars, and on February 13th to 15 will pass in front of Hyades star cluster. Comet C-2022 was discovered by astronomers in March 20th, 22. It was then initially identified as an asteroid. It was estimated at magnitude 17.3. Subsequent observations revealed that this object possessed a very tightly condensed coma, indicating that it was a comet. Since then, the new long-period comet has brightened substantially and is now moving across the northern constellation Corona Borealis in Predawn skies. It was the third such object discovered in the fifth half month A, B, C, D, E of the year, so it received the designation C2022E3ZTF. At the time, the comet was 399 million miles from the Sun, or just inside the orbit of the planet Jupiter. After enough observations were gathered to compute an orbit, astronomers determined C2022E3 to have an orbital period of roughly 50,000 years. After it sweeps around the Sun, C2022E3 will move back out into deep space. We know that comets are composed primarily of frozen gases that are heated A. We call this cloud of gas the head or coma. As the gases warm and expand, particles of dust that were embedded in the comet's nucleus are also released into space. The solar wind blows this material out into an appendage we call the tail. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.